Did you know that by default, your Google admin reporting is severely limited? You are probably missing out on key insights into user behavior, device usage, and security threats. Let's take a look at how to flip all those hidden switches and unlock the full potential of the reports in the Google Admin Console. Hi, my name is John Sawash. Welcome back to the Google Admin Bootcamp. The Google Admin Console has a wealth of reports that can help you understand the health of your devices, user activities, and much more. For example, inside of your device dashboard, you can run a report that shows you the version that all your Chromebooks are running, the hardware configuration of your devices, and very importantly, recent users, which is very helpful in investigating damaged devices. You can also run a report that will show all of the apps and extensions that your users have downloaded. So you can audit that and make sure that everything they're using is appropriate for your situation. And you can also run a myriad of reports through the Chrome log events, which is part of the investigation tool. These are wonderful ways to look at the health and security of your organization's information, data, and devices, but you have to enable the reporting. Strangely enough, most of these reporting features are disabled by default. Let's head to the admin console and look at how to enable these reports so that you can get the information that you need. Let's head to the device section of the console. We'll open up Chrome and we'll go down to settings and we'll be looking at several different things in this area. We're going to start by looking at the device settings um, over here. So I'm going to scroll down uh, pretty close to the bottom. You can also just do a control F uh, for find and search for reporting. Um, this usually pulls me to the right section. Yeah, there we go. So we're looking at this um, area here, user and device reporting, and there's several things we want to make sure that are enabled. Um, the first one here is report device OS information, and that is going to enable uh, each of your Chromebooks to report what version of uh, Chrome OS they're using. That's a very good one. We definitely want to turn that one on. Um, device hardware information as well. That's going to be anything related to hardware, storage, uh, things like that. We'll turn that one on. Um, device telemetry, that one has a lot of random stuff in it um, with like microphone volume and the temperature of the CPU. Um, let me open that one up. There's a ton of options in here. I would just turn them all on. Again, you never know exactly what you need until you need it. Um, it does have some network uh, information. So if you have any network issues, this is a way that you can potentially help troubleshoot it. Uh, but you can see tons of different things. The login logout can be very helpful uh, as well. So I just turn everything on here um, and I'll. Uh, it, it can be very helpful. Next up is user tracking. This is essential if you're in a school setting. Uh, when a user signs into a Chromebook, that will be logged. And then same thing when they, when they log out. This will allow you to investigate any de uh, device damage to determine who the last person was that used it. Now, it is important to understand that this data is not real time. Um, there is a delay in when this data is available in the admin console for you to view. And part of that, if you keep scrolling down, um, is in the upload frequency. Um, not every setting is uploaded based on this frequency, but many of them. 60 minutes is the lowest duration that you can set. That's how I have mine set up. Now, the user reporting, uh, that is updated anytime there's a change in user. So when someone signs in, that's reported. When someone signs out, that is also reported. Um, so again, it's not real time. I would enable all of these settings. Um, another one that's good is the system log upload. Uh, your Chromebooks will record all of their internal data locally, and you can get that data by logging into a device and getting those logs. But if you turn on system log upload, it actually pushes this data to the admin console where you can view it and look at it. Now, this is very technical information. This is not stuff you're gonna be looking at on a regular basis. But again, if you have an issue, it's nice to know that that data is there and you can get it and uh, perform whatever investigation needs to occur.
Now we're not done yet. We just looked at the device settings. We're going to switch over now to the user and browser settings where there's a few additional reporting fields that you want to enable. Again, I'm going to press control F for find and search for reporting. And that'll pull me down uh, towards the bottom. Look at this section for browser reporting. Now, I just want to point out over on the right side, you'll see these icons. Not all of these settings apply to Chromebooks. Um, so we need to look at the icons. This top one here applies to all four platforms. This one only applies to Chrome browser and Android and so on. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're looking at these. Uh, these things. Uh, manage browser reporting, that's a good one. This is going to be of particular interest if you are using Mac or PC devices and you'd like to collect similar information to what we just looked at related to Chromebooks. Um, this does impact Chromebooks as well, um, but a lot of a lot of these things are duplicated in the device settings that we just configured on, on Chrome OS. Again, we've got our upload frequency. Three hours is the lowest duration we can set for that. Um, I would strongly encourage you to uh, enable event reporting. Um, events uh, is a very broad term. It, uh, Chrome will track various actions taken on a Chromebook, and you can um, uh, set alerts for those things and even use data loss prevention rules to prevent certain activities from occurring. Um, so I would turn those on. Um, default is fine. Um, and again, you'll have more information to look at in the console. The last one that is very important is the app usage reporting. Um, if this is not enabled, you will not be able to export a list of the extensions and Android applications that are in use on your devices. Now, you can always look at a list of the tools that you have deployed that you're force installing. But for teachers and staff members, especially if you're allowing them to you know, install things um, as they wish, that will not be reported unless this is in enabled. I do Google admin audits for school districts. And one of the services that's included in my audit is a detailed uh, analysis of the apps and extensions that are in use. But very frequently, I run into a situation where districts have not enabled this feature, which prevents me from completing that audit. Now, again, it's important to note that just flipping this on will not instantly give you access to all this information. It will take probably a couple of days for all this data to be reported back to the admin console. The devices have to be actively used in order for those uh, that data to be reported up to the, the cloud. So if device, if it's a weekend, um, if it's the summer and your device is not in a high period of activity, then you may have to wait a little bit longer uh, to receive that data. Enable your reporting rules and then that data will begin collected and you can begin running your reports. Now, collecting this data is step one. Looking at it and knowing what to do with it is step two. I want to share two videos with you that will help you make sense of this information. First, I do have a video that will help you analyze your apps and extensions. And secondly, you can look at uh, this video that will look at the audit and investigation tool, which helps you determine who's last used a Chromebook and how to use those Chrome log events.